The city girl mayor of a small town right outside of Chicago, uh, Dalton, Illinois, is in hot water. She's been in hot water for some time now <laughs> for spending a lot of money um, in the city's budget uh, that didn't pertain to the city. You know, she's been known for going out of town, uh, having lavish trips, and having arguments with her city council about how the money is spent. So now the city is, is like $7 million in debt, and she's being questioned on it here at a city council meeting. Let's check this out and see what happened. We'll come right back. So on the financials, and I don't know how I uh, neglected to do this, all the way until last month, we were receiving monthly financial reports. This month, we did not receive a monthly financial report the way that we traditionally would. When we talk about the deficit, last fiscal year through May, the deficit was $2.5 in our operating account. This year, through the report we got, which was September 30th, I pulled that up as you were speaking. So from May through September, there was an additional $4.2 million of deficit. So you couple those two together, the deficit is growing and it's approaching $7 million. And I will share that financial report. We have not received anything this month. And my uh, concern, and, and sometimes you kind of joke your way through some of the pain because it really is painful. Uh, but we speak how in different meetings, um, Trustee Belcher will bring a lease or an invoice. And then the retaliation on the next month is we don't get access to the yep. accounting system. Here, we talk month after month about our deficit and what it is. And now we're not receiving the financial information and, and it, as if it's a punishment to the board of trustees and I again keep encouraging put it put it on the website where it belongs it's not a that it is a detriment in terms of our ability to do our job and sometimes calling this information out that's what we're left with if we try to work with the administration and they refuse to come to give regular information like this is not even hard it's almost like asking your name why you need to know my name it's just it's way too hard, and that's what we're faced with sometimes. But, um, clerk, he had a comment. She's also being accused of spending $22,000 of taxpayers' money on an um, all-expense-paid trip. Check this out. Mayor Henyar did her best to deflect and gaslight the situation as usual, claiming it wasn't anyone's business how she went to an Alabama trip in the first week of March. Okay. So let's find out what conference was attended and if it was for the village or township. Here is a short clip of the Alabama trip starring the super duper mayor, along with six other Dalton Township employees. Most of them are on both payrolls. The super mayor Tiffany Henyer, the people's mayor slash supervisor for township. We are here in Sama, Alabama, and we are taking care of the business of the people. We just walked over the bridge and we are taking care of the people. As you can see the group of employees were not at a conference at all, they were participating in the Selma Bridge Walk. Let's watch one more video just to see if she clarifies if it was for the township or village. I'm Tiffany Henry. I am the mayor of the village of Dalton and I'm also the supervisor of Owen Township, which is the largest in the state of Illinois. How many, how many times did you come to the bridge? That's my first question. This is my first year. So I'm excited. Okay. I'm, I'm all about the movement and the progress of uh, developing areas such as Alabama. But that money has to be accounted for. And, you know, she's been tearing the city down, man. She's been spending money. Uh, uh, and uh, the board of trustees, and she's in battle with a lot of these people. And they're trying to figure out where the money is. I'm still trying to figure out how she's still the mayor of, of Dalton. But now what she's doing is she's attempting to raise uh, funds back because Dalton, Illinois is 90% uh, black, is a village. It's not um, an affluent place. Um, it's a place where people that doesn't have that much money. And now what she's doing is attempting to raise the property taxes to get some of that money back uh, to the city. Check this out. With the burden of high property taxes already weighing on the residents of Dalton, one would expect the mayor to strive to alleviate this strain. Unfortunately, that's not the case. In an email from village administrator Keith Freeman to the Board of Trustees, they are proposing a staggering 4.99% increase in taxes. With the requested 4.99% increase, with the requested 4.99% increase. Yes, you heard it right. The mayor, the village administrator, 
Trustee Stan Brown and Trustee Andrew Holmes are advocating for raising your taxes. Thanks to the majority of the Board of Trustees, led by Senior Trustee Jason House, a special board meeting was convened. They voted against raising Dalton residents' property taxes. Dalton City's Board of Trustees have reneged on it and they've shot that down. Uh, that's a great thing. The problem that you have with uh, this situation here in Dalton, we always say that we need to build our own affluent communities. We need to have our own schools, our own everything. The problem is, what is the agenda? What is the, the proper black agenda? When you don't have a proper structure set in place or a proper black agenda as to how we should move, you have anything goes. And you have people like this that's voted into office that's not going to carry out um, the, the black agenda in the manner in which it should. This happens in the church. This happens in uh, uh, black businesses because we don't have a standard as to how we should be moving. So now she's just taking the money and going anywhere, just doing anything she want to do with it with no accountability. Um, there should be, uh, you know, this should, there should be moving, they sh there should be a, uh, budgets moving Dalton forward and showing black people that we're capable of doing it and creating a model in that place that's 90% black that's ran by blacks. There should be a strict, stern standard as to how we should be moving so that way it can be emulated in other black cities across America. But when you don't have a proper agenda as to where we're going and how we're moving, this is what you get. And a lot of black women put her in this position. A lot of black women voted for her to be here. And this is what, and, and she's really disrespecting black women uh, uh, more. And man, listen, you can check this out just by her behavior and this. Check this out. For the record, anybody that want to go to any conference can go. So stop trying to act like we having our own events because we do not. Anybody can sign up for a conference and go to it and get educated. Mayor, so stop doing that. Don't don't lie to the residents like that. Mayor, when you went to Alabama, was it a town? Did you go as a township supervisor or as the mayor, Dalton? Why you were about how I went? I'm just asking the question. It's discussion. I just asked the it's question. It's discussion, but I don't have to tell you how I went. If it's, okay, not, on, well, if it's not on the list, if, I, if I don't if know, it's not on the list, right? Because you could have asked me that. Before, right? If you really I, truly I, it's it's discussion now. Okay, so, so here we go. I don't go. Janice, can you answer the question? I don't go anywhere. My telling you what to say. From here. Because remember, y'all ain't got the money, right? Make up your mind. Y'all got the money, do oh y'all do. So stop saying township. Okay, okay I'm so asking that's the why question. I'm correcting you, trustee. That's why I'm correcting you because you got it wrong. That's okay, so true. did you go as the mayor or did you go as the township supervisor? Again, this ain't no Q and A for Tiffany Henry. It's discussion. And I just told you. I just asked. Okay. You. Well, nevertheless, so I said I you got it wrong. Do out. not put the township why they're, involved in Dalton. Why they're on the day. And see, the people that put her in office were black women. Black women that wanted to see a change and have a hand up and put women in positions of change. But this is what happened when you don't have a proper agenda as to how we should move. And this happens in a lot of places that's ran by black people. Black cities like Memphis, Philadelphia, um, Chicago. We have to have an agenda as to how we should move based off of our people's struggle. And it should be unapologetic. And until we get to that place, you're going to keep having these inept uh, 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 um, policies and people that's running the cities. That's just where it's going to go. This is the city city girl mayor, man. And she's been in, in the tabloids for a long time now. This is my first time really covering this. But I'm, I'm going to keep a close eye on this woman here because... Listen, her board of trustees, the city council, everybody, she's under fire from everybody. But as more of this come out, I'll speak more about this. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Remember, I love y'all. To the next time. Peace.